Hi friends, welcome to the Learn with Krishna Sandeep channel. So in this video, we'll see what is a majority element and we'll write a program to find out a majority element in a given list of array elements. First, we'll understand what is a majority element. Uh, for example, given an array of elements, okay, given an array of elements, for example, like this, okay so if an if an element presents more than n by 2 times okay so what is the size of this array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so 8 by 2 is like 4 so 8 by 2 is what 4 okay so if an element contains more than n by 2 times i'm just uh, giving one more element so then we call that element as a majority element. So in this list of array, 3 is a majority element. The majority element is not found, it will return minus 1. Okay. So hope you understand uh, the problem statement what we are going to solve today. So what is a majority element and how do we okay print majority elements? Let's write a method. Okay. static int majority element okay int array comma int size so first what we will do is we will create a map okay and add each element to the map so keys this value and value is count for example if you see in this pro i mean when we are adding to the map so we'll store first value as key 2 comma 1 okay why because already i mean in this map i mean first when we create a map this is the first element we are adding since the element is not already present in the map so we are adding okay this 2 to the map and it will become okay 2 comma 1 Okay, in the next iteration, we'll check 3 is present in the map or not. So, it is not present. Okay, we'll store 3 comma 1. Okay, so this key is nothing but value here. I mean, the which we are storing here and uh, the value is number of occurrences. And then, so after that, next is what? 4. 4 comma check whether 4 is already present or not it's not present add it next 5 5 is present in the map no so just add 5 to the map okay number of times 1 next is what 2 okay check whether 2 is already present in the map yes so since 2 is already present in the map what we are going to do we are going to increment the value so already 2 is present in the map we are changing the value of 1 to 2 next check whether 3 is present in the map or not yes 3 is present so increment the value from 1 to 2 next again uh, check one more 3 okay already present so increment value to 3 so similarly go on till okay so again next time increment the value it will become 4 finally we have one more value 3 increment and change it to 5 okay now what is the size of this array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 by 2 is what 9 by 2 is like 4.5 around we will get so since uh, 3 is greater than the size of this array by 2 okay it is greater than n by 2 so the value on majority element here is 3 hope you understood the logic so now we'll put it in a program first what we need to do as i told you we need to create a map so how do you create a map create a hash map map integer comma integer map equal to new hash map so of key of value so here what we are going to store 
integer comma integer just adding zero for the time being okay so after that now what we are going to do we are going to add a map and after adding the map what we need to do we need to loop through the array elements so all these array elements are stored in array so for what what we are going to do for int i array okay what we need to do check if the value is already present in the map or not so map dot get off i so what this will tell map of get off i so whether this element is present in the array or not okay map dot get off i will give you if it i mean if it is already present it will give you the value otherwise it will return null okay so first what we are going to do we are going to check each and every element first what we'll check we'll check whether 2 is present or not i mean if you take this error we'll check whether 2 is present in the map or not since okay so map dot get off 2 so if it is present it will return the index okay returns the value to is specified if a map contains or no map key okay so after that what we are going to do if we are going to check if value is equal to null or not if value is not okay if value equal to equal to null what we are going to do we are going to add an element to map map dot put off i comma 1 what we are going to check value okay so if value is equal to null i mean that means the first element is not present in the map what we are going to do we are going to add the element to that map and initialize the count to 1 why because this is the first time else what we are going to do we are going to get the index i mean if already element is present in the map what we are going to do we are going to get the index and increment it to one okay map dot put i comma value plus one So we are already getting the value here when we say map dot get off i it will return value so increment value by one okay so this way what we are going to do get we are going to get a map okay with the key and the number of count so once we get everything what we need to do we need to iterate through the map and then check whether the size is greater than okay n by 2 plus 1 map dot entry okay map dot entry of key comma value which will be integer comma integer integer comma integer map dot entry set okay and here what we need to do if entry dot get value greater than size by 2 so in any of this map if the size is greater than by 2 
okay any value in this map is greater than size by 2 then what we need to do we consider that element as an majority element okay so then we print that value system dot out dot print ln. either we can return or okay we will return this return entry dot get value otherwise return minus 1 so you got here right now let's call this main method here and here just call the majority element and pass the area of elements and the size here what we are going to do is create an array okay just copy these elements and put it here just remove this okay so now you got everything right okay let's run the program and see the output run as java application oh exception in main oh here we need to pass the array instead of null just pass the array here now let's run the program and see the output okay we need to print this in sysout majority element equal to just add semicolon over here let's run the program and see the output here okay majority element of a comma zero okay let's debug this and see why we are getting a uh, empty here okay here i need to add okay put this here got it i need to pass this i need to pass this to system dot out dot print ln right just cut this and paste this okay make it plus demo this now run the program and see the output now you should get the proper value okay majority element is 2 which is okay wrong here why because let me run the program now and see the output majority element is okay size is 0 which I am giving it is wrong 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 actually I have given the wrong size value here that's why we are getting uh, every time 2 now let's run the program and see the output 6 so here i am returning the value here so instead of value i need to return key so that is the reason so value will contain okay number of occurrences let's run the program and see the output okay majority element is three so now you got the program right we will debug and we will see okay this program we got multiple issues okay let's run the program and see the output we have corrected all those but let's see 
so as i told you what we are going to do we are going to store all the elements into the map and the number of occurrences okay so first we are checking the first element map dot get of two so first what we are doing uh, we are iterating through each and every element so after it i mean first element is what two two is present in the map no so since it is null what we are doing we are adding value to this map and putting the count so first element two comma one now what is the second element three now the second element is 3 check whether 3 is present in the map no so since 3 is not present in the map what happens okay so again we'll be adding the 3 to the map similarly all the elements finally what we'll do will come here I'm just removing this. Okay. Now, if you see here, what this map will contain? Number of twos, two times. Number of three, six times. Number of four, one time. Number of five, one time. So, four is a uh, number of occurrence of four, one. Number of occurrence of five, one. Number of occurrence of three, six. Six times we are having three in this map. So, finally, we stored all these details. Now, what we need to do, what is the size of the map? Okay, size of the map we are given is 10. Okay, if it is greater than 10 by 2, if the number of occurrences of elements is greater than n by 2, then we call that as a majority element. So, here the number of occurrence of 6, okay, okay, number of total number of elements is what? 10. 10 by 2 is what size 10 by 2 is what 5 so check what are what is the count which is greater than 5 3 so we are printing 3 so if the entry dot get value greater than size by 2 so first it will go to it will check here okay 2 by 2 entry dot get value greater than size by 2 no so entry dot okay entry dot get value is 2 is greater than size by 2 no Again, it will check here. So, it repeats till the end of this map. Got it? So, wherever we find the element, we are returning. I mean, if the get entry dot get value is greater than size by 2, we will just return the entry dot get key. Finally, if any element is not found in the array, we will return minus 1. So, hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.